of the Cato cast. That is what it's being called right now. It is uh, April 29th, 2017. And like I said, this is the first episode. Um, so let's go ahead and introduce ourselves, introduce the podcast, and talk about what it's uh, going to be about. So I'm here with my uh, my my co-anchor, my, my secondary voice, Max. Say hello, Max. What's up? What's up? <laughs> there he is. So this podcast is mostly going to be any topics. It's going to be about any topics that we uh, feel like speaking about. It's, for the most part, going to be game-related because uh, we both have dived into a lot of video games. We we can talk about that at length and in depth. Uh, but we will explore other topics if we need to. Um, we, we can go into things, and we will go into things like food, music, movies, whatever. Whatever, uh, whatever interests us. So, uh, my name is uh, Matt. Lived in California, born in California. Moved to Oklahoma for part of my life, for my teenager years. And then uh, I'm currently residing in Missouri. Um, I enjoy games. I enjoy a lot of Overwatch. That's probably the main game I'm playing right now. And uh, I have no dreams. <laughs> How about you, Max? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you know I'm I'm Max. I'm in Ark. Oh, you're cutting a b- cutting out a oh, bit shit. there. Okay, did it? Did all of that cut out, or just the start? Uh, most of it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, <laughs> just start over. Then it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. So- okay, so yeah, I'm I'm Max. I was born in Arkansas. I lived in. Oklahoma for half my life, and then Kentucky for the other half, but I live in Seattle now, so yeah, it's pretty good, and let's see, play games most of my life, that's about all I've done with my life, actually, games are just, it's what I have, it's what I, I do, mean, it's, so, it's what everyone <laughs> you know? has, it's what we, it's what we need, man, that's literally it's, all we need, yeah, it's, it's to, just to our thing, on. so, yeah. So you know, I've I've played so many games now. I've uh, I've got quite the knowledge base about games. I've been so yeah, but I, I I do some other stuff too. I guess I like you know read books and stupid shit like that that nobody cares about. So <laughs> yeah, Max is the educated one of us. He's got his degree, whereas I uh, for, oh. <laughs> have not completed it. <laughs> That's true. That should show you how you how useless. Like, you, you cut out again there, but but we oh, get the yeah, message. Yeah. How useless I am. I know that's what you said. <laughs> well, you got me. It is. <laughs> but no, that just it just shows you how useless my fucking degree is. I don't even think to mention it in Ohio. So obviously it's a fucking waste Actually, of time. Actually, Max, but... Max is just really humble. Doesn't need am to I? tell us about his degree. He's not a fucking engineering major. Exactly. I, I got a fucking <laughs> English major. Why would I even mention it? It's nothing to be proud of. <laughs> what uh, what's your favorite food, Max? What's my because I don't even know if I know favorite that one. food. Sometimes I don't know if I know what my favorite food is. But my favorite food. Shit, you, you're maybe gonna call me a weeb for this. So sure. just, just we already know brace, you are one. Brace for weeb impact, but fucking katsu. Yeah, dude, Good that's fucking shit. weeb shit. I don't even know what that is. All I know is it's it sounds like, Japanese. Yeah, it is. It's like the the breaded chicken type thing, K- kind of like 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 a with like a fried breading on it. Like the is it like chicken with tempura or something? Uh, no, it's not tempura exactly. It's more. It's just a special breading of sorts. Kind of yeah, and then it'll usually be served with like you know like rice and some some kind of like like maybe a teriyaki sauce. Okay. Kind of tangy sweet. Okay. My other favorite foods. Curry, so that curry might be number one actually. Uh, just, just curry, curry in general, is all kinds. Green curry, yellow curry, red curry. Just, I'll eat all of it. It's good shit. <laughs> all What's over your rice. favorite though? Yeah, yeah, of course, dude. I'm. I mean, that's how curry is uh, made to be eaten. Is over yeah, rice. Yeah, yeah. You can't you just know, not mean, eat curry over yeah. rice. I, I know I'm a white guy, but you know my, my family's Chinese, so I learned the whole eating rice with everything. 
right. idea that it's, it's stuck good. with me. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's yeah. cheap. It's filling, you know? I can't complain. <laughs> yeah, my favorite food is without a doubt sushi. Easy yeah, choice. Yeah. Sushi number one. Dude, you, you gotta come here to Seattle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there's there's some places here where I've been to a couple of times. There's this one place it's called Crappers. And you just go in and you say, I just want to eat sushi. And they just give you a menu. And it's maybe <laughs> like 40 bucks or something. And you just eat sushi until you're done. Like Wow. You just go wild like the fat fuck you are. <laughs> well, that seems like something I need to do eventually. I mean, when I lived in California... There was a lot of um, sushi buffet places. You know, they put like sushi on the yeah, boats yeah. And, and the boats go around and around and they just keep refilling that. that yeah, was, yeah. That was heaven for me. Going, moving away from the coast to a place where sushi is like 10 bucks for eight pieces. It's, it was rough. Ooh. It, uh, it hurt. <laughs> so what, what's your favorite kind of sushi? My favorite kind of sushi? I, I, I couldn't tell you. That's a hard okay. one for me. Like, if you put sushi in front of it, in front of me, I'm probably yeah. gonna eat it, unless it's like you know, um, uh, low class, low tier Chinese buffet sushi. Ugh. That, I, feel, I, I feel my stomach just turning, <laughs> just thinking about you know, tier Chinese buffet, like dried rice pickles in it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, a fucking bomb it. But you know, any other actual sushi tier sushi is. Uh, I'll, I'll eat it, even just okay, yeah. basic like California rolls. Still pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And California rolls are basic, but they're, they're kind of like type thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're basic, basic but, sushi, but yeah. but they're sushi. They represent sushi. Yeah, ex- exactly. And for um, what it's worth, the when you when you get a California one, some of like the breadcrumbs on it, you know where they make it. Oh yeah, that's pretty good actually. That's that's one sushi I like pretty well. Yeah. Um, if I had to say favorite, I I think I would lean towards either the um, fried sushi with tempura, or and all like the mm-hmm. the glaze and sauce and all that yummy shit on it, or yeah, um, yeah, or raw sushi. Okay. I enjoy uh I enjoy my raw sushi. Nothing wrong with that. But, um, yeah, I was actually going to say that uh, the Walmart that we were working at uh, used to, they started selling actual sushi in boxes, or not in boxes, but like packages made from the deli. And really? Yeah, it wasn't terrible. It was, it was decent. So, uh, I, I segue over. Too. Yeah, me too. Me too. And then I bought some and I was like, you know what? Not bad. Not, you know, it's not restaurant sushi, but it's, it's not bad. Yeah. Okay. But uh, speaking of Walmart, um, Max, you wanna you wanna tell the folks how we met? Oh man, that's a, a real blast from the past. There. Yes, it is. So I, I actually I remember. <laughs> you, you remember everything? I I actually do pretty well. Like I remember, and like I think you'd, you'd talk to me like once before we had to like move something together like one time before. Oh yeah. I remember you, there was one time you were like, yo Max, we got to move. It was like some display, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It was, um, we was were, it cereal. Yes. It was cereal. Holy shit. To, yeah. <laughs> we had to move a pallet of, of cereal on the floor and, and yeah. Okay. And do something with it. And, uh, actually I, I forget who it was who told me to do it. it Might've been Brad. Right. I want to say Brad, yeah. yeah. But he, he told me that uh, to, to find someone and move these cereal boxes somewhere. And then so I was like, hey, you look like a strong young man. <laughs> I said that to yeah, you. Yeah, he, he, comes, he comes over to the fucking five foot seven <laughs> fucking weeb with no muscles. You look like a strong young man. I'm like, this fucking asshole, here we go. No, I didn't think that at all. Listen. I just you, fucking... <laughs> Something they don't know is that you're actually older than me by about three years, but you yeah. look like five years younger than me. Well, I know, maybe dude, not younger than I, me, I even, but you you look like 17 I, or something. No, I, I definitely do. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know if I look that old. To be honest. Like, <laughs> That's why I came up to you thinking you were like a, a, a teenager, 
or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I don't blame you at all. Like, even when I was at college and stuff, there would be like people would be like, "Why are you here?" I'm like, <laughs> I, "I go to class." They're like, "What? What do you mean?" They're like, "No, you don't." Like, are you with a school group? I'm like, "Yeah, this school. I go here." <laughs> like, you want to look at my fucking student ID card? <laughs> like, fuck. I get that I looked like 15, but hell, like, like, you're I, trying I look to, even younger. You're trying to get some early college credits while you're in high school or something, bud? <laughs> yeah, I know. They were always confused, though, because I don't even know if my school, like, uh, so they're just like, what the fuck is this guy doing here? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I, I remember that. And then That was the, the first official time, first uh, interaction first between us, I think. Words. Yeah. Yeah, but the first time we actually talked, I was, um, you were just coming in after school. Yeah, and I after was my like, college classes. Yeah, yeah, and I was like walking backwards towards McDonald's. I think it was like either on break or on my yeah. lunch. I don't remember which one. Uh huh. And and we just kind of started talking. I don't remember why. I think we started talking about like work stuff at first. Like I came in and then. Yeah, yeah. I, I talked to you. We were talking about like, I I don't know something about work, like something yeah, typical, sure. something you know that you would say to any other worker like oh it's gonna be a hard one in there <laughs> yeah pretty some, much something. yes so some kind of generic thing like that you'd yeah. say with your your co-worker but then i don't know we both just kind of knew like this guy's on my level yeah yeah because we both went to uh, mcdonald's right then and there to go eat i think yeah, was it yeah. right then and there yeah yeah i'm pretty sure it was i'm okay, pretty sure yeah. you wanted a nice Nice couple of McChickens to get the protein in you to start oh, out yeah. the day. Good old McDonald Walmart worker food. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we were talking in there too about things. Yeah, yeah, and we got talking. That's where uh, I- that's where we connected. That's where we figured out what we were, <laughs> what yeah, each other were. That's, that's exactly the way I was going to word that too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went I in there. I realized what kind of a... Fucking loser I was dealing with then. Like, oh, I get it. He's, he's one of us. <laughs> I think it was, uh, we went in there and you were like pussyfooting around. I totally was. Dude. I was I was hiding my power level, you know? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, like, how, how deep is he? So, so you know, you, you, you kind of test the waters. You kind of like slowly show how much you're into stuff. Give a few keywords here and there. I, I did. I kind of dropped some words to bait you about like anime and shit. <laughs> that and then i don't know what it was that made me say it but i said something about weeb weebs yep yeah. it was <laughs> then i knew once you said that word i said we're gucci this guy's gonna be my walmart og yep. friend like i knew we were gucci from then on that's when we uh connected that was it i'm pretty sure well, physically so, so we, mentally we, yep we had sex right there in the mcdonald's I remember. Yep. <laughs> right there on the tables <laughs> And, you know, we had that, you remember that guy, what was his name that worked at McDonald's? Kind of our, our buddy that talked to us sometimes. Oh, you know shoot. It was the guy with glasses. Yeah, 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 the glasses guy. Yeah. He gave <laughs> us uh, insider tips to McDonald's. Like, the reason yeah. they can um, tell if you're not getting water whenever you ask for a water cup is because everything else makes a clicky noise whenever you yep. go in there, but water doesn't. Yep. I, I remember he would, uh, I don't know, uh, is it okay to say this? Maybe they'll try. He, he doesn't even work at McDonald's now. And yeah, yeah. McDonald's is going to track us down. McDonald's there. There's not even a yeah. McDonald's there anyway. We're good. But I remember he would often, uh, you know, I'd order a small drink and he'd give me a medium anyway. Oh, man. What a guy. What a guy. He'd what give a me guy. a medium for, for my free refill small. <laughs> Which that might not sound like it's nothing, but like. You know, at the at the end of the break, I would take my drink to the fridge in the break room, so it mean that means I got like twice as much to sip on for the rest of the day. So <laughs> it's a nice gesture. I, I always appreciated it. I'm like, yeah, nice. Actually, nice. for me, I guess he just liked me more. <laughs> but I would always ask for a water, and then he'd just say, "You can go ahead and get whatever you want, man." I oh, mean, he, nice. I'm kidding. He probably would have let you do that too. But yeah, he. Yeah, he told I, me I never thought just about get it, but. I was just a water boy, though. I don't drink soda. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't usually, but sometimes I just needed that sugar. <laughs> now I almost I typically don't anymore though, like even less than I did then. So um speaking of Walmart, that's how we met. Uh what's oh. your favorite Walmart story? My favorite okay, dude. I, I always have a Walmart story that I tell everyone about adventures. Alright, alright. Do you, do you remember when we worked on the Super Bowl? <laughs> On the what was that? On the Super Bowl, do you remember when we worked at that? I do, sort of. And do you remember when Heather got so mad that we went on our lunch at the same time and lectured? Yes. Wait. She, you said what? She got mad that uh... she like got really mad that we took our lunch together. Yeah. And and like had her whole like huge fit on us, like lecturing us and all that shit. Yeah, and that's when we we're in the back room too, right? Yeah, yeah, we were in the back. <laughs> but I remember she goes on and all this stuff and like, this is America, it's the Super Bowl and it's a holiday and all this stuff. <laughs> and I, I just remember you turn to me and you're like, talking to me about America, it's a holiday and all this shit. I'm from fucking California. She thinks I don't know about the Super Bowl because I'm a fucking chink were your exact words. <laughs> Sorry if that offends anyone, but those were your words I'm quoting. I fucking was dying for like an hour after, after that thing. Oh Holy shit! And it was like, it was like an honest, like angry rant from you, because you know we just been bitched at for like ten minutes. So you were like yeah. legitimately upset. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm upset too. And then you turn to me and say that I'm just like a, losing my shit for like ten minutes. Like god damn it. <laughs> well, uh, that was good. I remember. I remember debating with her that it was in fact not a holiday. Well, yeah, yeah, I kind of remember that too. Just <laughs> that. She what was... was crazy to me is like you know nobody was there anymore. Like everybody yeah, was, was at home watching the fucking game. Like I'm pretty sure even we <laughs> just watched the game after that. Cause there was yeah, we just like, went into the break room and just watched the game. Yeah, we filled everything out. We did everything we needed to. <clears throat> yeah, like. Like, literally everyone was in there watching the game. Yeah, yeah. But whatever, dude. It's always our fault, man. Always it it our really fault. was. It, I really <laughs> felt like it was always our fault, Mark. Oh. <laughs> I guess there, that's retail for you, though. There were a lot of good moments in there. I guess we'll sprinkle them here and there throughout the, the podcast. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. my I think... I don't know. I think my favorite was whenever... Uh, Whenever you made me just dive laughing. I knew that's what you were going to say. I had a feeling. That's that's probably my second favorite. I don't remember how it started, really. I just remember we're I, I, out. Do you want to tell it? Because if you remember it, you can tell no, it. No, keep going. You, you can tell it, and then I'll just I'll, I'll fill in whatever You will I fix what I... Uh, yeah. So, I'm, I'm not sure how much I remember, so... So we were playing basketball with our... Um, we had a cart of returns that we needed to to put back in the shelves, and we were just playing a little game, fun game of basketball with it, just tossing them back in the <laughs> cart to waste time because we were getting ready to leave. And and so we start. What do we start talking about? I um. It's 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 like right there, but I can't pull it out of my brain so do you remember that do you remember uh oh what was his name okay shane shane that's that was it, the yes. big incident that that this yes. revolved around he <laughs> uh, <laughs> that one he got fired and the rumor was that he got fired for um what was it uh sexual harassment yeah yeah he was a an way, assistant I'm, manager I'm, I'm pretty sure the rumor was true by the way oh really <laughs> I think so. I might be wrong, but that's just what I heard. Yeah, yeah. But he, that was uh, we were talking about that, and then you said, um, <laughs> <laughs> "Yes, yes." This is what you were explaining me, explaining to me how the word "cuck" became of origin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, 
what you said. How did I get, how did I get on to cuck about this? I, <laughs> I don't remember. We use that word so frequently that it, it just became part of our natural language over there. Yeah, it did. But we were talking about cuck and Shane, and you said that the word cuck originated from the <laughs> the sound that Shane makes <laughs> whenever he, <laughs> he cucks someone. <laughs> And then you said, it sounds like this. Cup, 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 cup. <laughs> yep, that's right, dude. And then I just <laughs> fell to the floor, and I just literally died there. I, I just laughed and laughed and laughed, and I couldn't stop laughing. And again, this was when everyone was leaving. So our assistant managers were leaving, and they walked by us, and we were just on the floor crying and laughing. <laughs> And they were just walking by asking, like, are you okay? You guys doing all right? And we were just like, yeah, we're doing fine. Just just go. Just it, it, We can't explain I, I, this. I remember, go. I remember just, like, like waving Lisa away. I'm like, just go. I don't even know what to say. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to you. Don't even ask. Yeah. Like, they just is, smirked and walked just, away, and we just continued yeah. to laugh. And I just... I don't know, man. That just really got me the way you did that. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't even know like where it came to me. For some reason, I was just like, yeah, it's it's the sound he makes. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. Like, the, that you know that sound is he's like pounding someone. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the sound of his. Like maybe it was the sound of his like his fat, you know, going around. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's maybe not think about that too much. But. Oh no, we need to think about that because that was a. <laughs> Mm. A glorious thing to think about. For a while there, I actually thought you were gonna like not be able to breathe and like die. Or I, I couldn't. And, like I was getting pretty close there uh, to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were because I remember. Th- <laughs> what What have I done? Like <laughs> I made a terrible. Mistake, I, I just like- kept laughing about it, and I just it's one of those things where you just keep laughing, and it just yeah, you know, you think the joke is over, but you just laugh again for for whatever reason and it just keeps going on and on and on and you just can't stop and you just you're like this is dumb why am i still laughing about this but you just keep laughing because it's 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 not dumb it's great it's hilarious and just just, like as you as you laugh it makes you yeah it just makes yeah Mm. yeah no that that got me good (laughs) yeah dude that got me real good. Like that came out was, of nowhere. That, yeah, it really did. That that might be like a hard adventure. That is uh, by far my favorite. And there's yeah. a lot. There was a lot too. But, yeah, uh, I know. It's it's crazy just like thinking back on how many. Wow. Yeah. And damn, if we had like some sort of machine that could just store those memories up, so we don't forget about them, and we could just keep looking at them. Over yeah. and over and over again. Man. Yeah. Do, Man. do you ever think like as we get older, we're gonna like forget some of those? Oh yeah. I mean, it's hella sad, dude. <laughs> look, right now I've already forgotten about a lot of the fun times I had as a kid. Oh, I I don't remember like any of my childhood. Like I don't remember that, anything. Yeah, it just feels like a dream. Like just bits and pieces <clears throat> yeah, of things does, is all I can remember. So think about how that's gonna be when we're older what yeah. we're doing right now we may not even remember it yeah like i, I can barely remember anything from before like 13 like it's just gone other than like a couple like little one-off memories it's just all it's all done dude <laughs> well just just think about how scary that is like yeah like if anything you could have just woken up today and everything that you think you remember could have just never happened yeah like you could have know, right? never even been thirteen years old, you could have just been plopped down onto the earth at this moment and just given these memories. Even, even right now, it's already in the past, mm. and that shit could have never happened. I mean, we yeah. know it did, but you know. Right. Sometimes I wonder if I had like a terrible, like traumatic childhood experience, <laughs> and that's why I don't remember my childhood. Like, did some guy like kidnap me or something? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, probably not. But we can only knows. hope. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember when I was a, a, I say a kid, but like, you know, like an older teenager, like maybe yeah, like, 17 or so. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was, uh, 
I was at a gas station with my dad one time because we would just like go on trips and stuff when he'd be in the country. Uh huh. And my dad like went in to buy like drinks for us or something. So I'm just sitting there in the car and this dude in a truck like pulls up next to us and tries to get me to like get in his truck and come <laughs> with him. And I, I, I fucking give him the finger and mouth the fuck <laughs> off to him. Like <laughs> So, <laughs> what was his uh, what was his idea there? Was he gonna give you some candy to get in his truck with him, or I I guess I don't know because he was and like come in the truck and I'm like, how old do you think I am? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I know I don't look seventeen, but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, yeah. I'm I'm real happy that you were able to uh, escape that endeavor, that near kidnap, so that you can now uh, tell us about your favorite game, Max. Oh man, my favorite game. Yeah. All right. Well, it, all right. So it doesn't have a, to be your favorite, favorite game. It yeah. it just has to be a game that has a lot of impact on you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Something like, good. It have to be, like the favorite, like the number one, a favorite kind of thing. Like honestly, like favorite games change over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But this is one that I played, I think, about a month and a half ago. Okay. And this was when I was, like, you know, like, no job, no prospects of getting a job. I'm, like, super depressed. I'm like, you know what, whatever. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to find some old game that I've not played before, and I'm going to play it. Okay. Now, I played, for most of, like, my my formative years, like, like an adolescent and stuff, you know, I, I played, like, tons of RPGs, like that's mostly what I played. Yeah. All those fucking wee role playing games, played them all. For some reason, though, there, there's this one, or there, there's a few for the Super NES I have not played. And I just decided, you know what, I'm going to play one of them. I'm just going to play through it. It'll probably take me, you know, a few days or something. I'll play mm-hmm. through this one called Terra Enigma. I'm like, okay, Terra Enigma. I know. Do what? Terra Enigma? Terra Enigma. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, all right, what's this? Uh, okay, it seems some some kind of Super NES JRPG. Never came to the United States, but it, it came to Europe, so it was like in English. So, all right, download the game, pop it in, play for a couple hours. And I fucking realized something, something that doesn't happen much when I play video games anymore. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure you're going to think I'm crazy because most people probably have this all the time when they play video games. But I was having fun. <laughs> like... Wow. You know what? I know that doesn't... Yeah? In this day and age, that is actually a lot. Yeah, I know. Like, like being a, an almost 25-year-old, like, this is fun. Like, I'm actually just... Like, I felt like I was a kid playing games and playing it. Like, especially just like it had, like... Go oh, ahead. Keep going. Oh, especially oh, well, for an older game. Yeah, yeah. Because it's... Like, they might be fun, and they might have been really great in their time, but they do get dated mm-hmm. and Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just I was impressed by like just like the music and like the story and stuff. It was like all pretty cool. play is this cute. And the best way I can think of to explain it is you basically have to like recreate the planet. Like everything on the planet dies and you live deep underground. Oh. And then you know like bad shit happens with the plot. And you basically get like roped into being the savior and have to like you, you go up to the surface and have to like like you know get get like plants to come back to life. You have to save save animals so they can come back to life. And then you have to like rebuild society, like people and towns and all that stuff. It's pretty pretty weird, but pretty interesting. Okay. So um <clears throat> so let me get this straight. It was a uh, voxel based sandbox RPG simulator. <laughs> you got me, my dude. No, no. <laughs> no, it was. It sounds like it was an <laughs> RPG, and I don't. For yeah. an old game, it it must have been right. A what? For an older game, it must have been right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was a, an action actiony RPG, kind of okay. like um, kind of like Secret of Mana or uh, yeah. Okay. Like Secret of Mana or something like that. You know that kind yeah. of like sort of actiony Super NES combat. Yeah. Like, super simple, but, like, you know, you walk your guy around, you press A, he'll swing his little spear. Right, 
right? Nothing complicated, but it was cool. And then you have like a few different attacks, like, but it, it was pretty pretty simplistic. But it, it was fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's actually really surprising. A lot of, um, like I said earlier, a lot of older games, it's hard to get as much yeah. enjoyment out of them, especially when you know like what kind of games we get now like the just the yeah yeah exactly uh, just graphics wise they they just yeah. look better to the eyes yeah but it was one of, it was a game too that had like a really satisfying ending like the ending was actually like good and I, okay. I sat there and i was just like like it does the ending and then you know like it fades to black so i sat there and i was just like thinking for a minute like wow like that was an ending like wow that like i'm like, like it was kind of a feel ending too. So I'm like, yeah, okay. Really cool. And then the fucking credits come on, and this fucking <laughs> like awesome song is playing with the credits, and the credits is like this really cool thing from the end of the game and stuff. It's like playing with the credits, and I'm, dude, I think I just finished a masterpiece. Like, <laughs> it's one of those games I, I would struggle to recommend it to other people. Yeah, like, like it, you know, it has its flaws and stuff, but like for me, for me personally, the game was like a ten out of ten. I'm like, this, this was so good. Like, <laughs> and, and after I finished it, like I watched the credits, they rolled, and then I just kind of sat there for a while, I was just like staring at my computer. And I haven't had this feeling in a while. You know, usually I finish a game, an extra men. After that game, I was just like, what do I even do now? Like. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever play an RPG like this much just fun again. Like, okay, shit. And then I didn't play games for like a week until I was <laughs> ready to. Go. Did you uh, get super into it and like look up all the discussion you possibly could about it and everything? Um, not exactly, but I did. It, it's pretty. But I did. I did tell one of my friends. He likes older games like I do and stuff, and I'm like, dude, this game. I I told him straight up, you know, like here's here's the things you want, but straight up, you gotta play this game. It's really good. I think you'll. Okay. And then I also actually I made like one friend, this game actually from Tumblr, so that's cool. I guess oh. like, yeah, just, just somebody was like, hey, has anyone played this game ever? Like. It's really cool, and I want to talk about this game to somebody. And I was like, yo, hey, what's up? I actually just finished it. Masterpiece. And she's like, yeah, right, wasn't it? I'm like, yeah, dude, masterpiece. <laughs> no, that's that's pretty cool. Like, that's um, yeah. that's what you would call a hidden gem. Yeah, definitely a hidden gem, for sure. That's actually, like, like, where I've heard about it. I've heard about it from gin threads and stuff like that Oh, on, okay. on various websites. So, yeah, and it was interesting, actually, like, right after I finished the game, I was in some thread on this website about, like, oh, I, I can't remember, it was, like, maybe, like, you know, emotional songs in video games or something like that. Uh-huh. But I'm, I'm not just, like, browsing through the thread just because, like, I was bored, I just finished the game, I didn't have anything better to do, so I'm just reading through threads about video games. Yeah. And I see... Somebody posts the the credits theme from that song, and I'm like, "Holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> me too, dude." Like, <laughs> me too. He's like, "Dude, I just finished this. What the fuck?" I'm like, "Oh my god, me too, <laughs> dude, me too." <laughs> no, yeah, it sounds like a pretty good game. What was the uh, developer? Was it anyone big or anything? I. It was uh, Enix. Oh, dude, okay. Was it? It was back in the when they were called Squaresoft, right? Oh no no no! It was uh, Enix, the other company they merged with. Oh okay. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah okay. Enix, Enix were the ones who made like a uh, Dragon Quest and stuff. They okay. Merged with Squaresoft, became Square Enix. Okay. Well, yeah, it was Enix. I looked. Okay. Well, uh, funny enough for me. My favorite game is uh, on the other side of that merger, uh, Squaresoft, and all right, that would be a uh, Chrono Cross. It's, My man, yeah, dude, right? 
my man. Like, uh, it gets a lot of hate because it's not the direct sequel to Chrono Trigger that everyone wanted. But yeah. that game was, I don't know, it, it might be a bit of nostalgia that keeps me from, or keeps me loving it so much. <laughs> but it was like the first um, actual RPG big game that I had ever gotten. Yeah, yeah. It was on the PS1. My mom got it for me. She just, I think she got it for me for my birthday. And she, you know, my mom, she's a old little Asian lady. She doesn't know much about games. She just picked it out randomly at the yeah. store and bought it for me. Right? And turns out it was a wonderful pick. Um, mm-hmm. I played through that game like every single year uh, up until a couple of years ago. It's just, yeah, uh, yeah. it's just got just an, a gorgeous soundtrack. Just. Oh, uh, the, the soundtrack for that game is ten out of ten. Oh yeah, like even people I know who don't like the yeah, like it's it, you could hate the game, but you you can't hate the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah you you just can't like it's just like, I, it's I such haven't, like a, a I don't even know how to describe the soundtrack exactly. It's just very. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. It's I don't, like very I don't good. want to just say, say yeah, it's I don't very want to just emotional. Say, that's the it's got word that, I was going to use, but I'm like, am I going to sound, like, sound a little like a little bitch? bitch. Really a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's got a lot of emotion in the soundtrack, and and you can really yeah. feel it. And it, whenever it's used in the story, even if you don't like like the story, where it's used, the soundtrack really just helps that story just mm-hmm. feel and and just get you. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Like I think, I think a, a big complaint about the game is is the fact that the story is so convoluted and there's just so many characters that don't get fleshed yeah. out. Mm-hmm. But I mean, ten year old me didn't really care about that. Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to yeah. fight things and kill things. And then yeah, and even the story the story is is nice. It's mm-hmm. um I mm-hmm. I can't really compare it to the Chrono Trigger game because I haven't played that. Oh, I, I can do that if you want. Okay, yeah, yeah. Compare that to the story, because... Yeah. So, I, I can actually explain why people don't like Chrono Trigger. Yeah, go for it. So, in Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger is like a fun time-traveling adventure. Like, it's pretty basic. It has like a couple like sad moments and stuff. Like, But for the most part, like it's, it's a really like upbeat game. It's, it's basically just like fun time traveling adventures of chrono and friends like but so chrono cross came along and they, they wanted to do something really different with the story and i feel like the story in chrono cross is more about like you know the bad things that happen with time travel and like oh. all of the just just like the ways that fucking with time like causes problems for reality and things like that so okay yeah a lot of people didn't like you know how heavy it, it was compared to Chrono Trigger, I'm pretty sure, like, they, they wanted just another fun time-traveling adventure, and then it was, like, this, like, kind of deep, like, like, for a game, like, kind of, kind of that deep, deeper look at, like, time-traveling and stuff, and, like, what, what kind of bad things could happen because of this, and, and I kind of think that's why the game's kind of convoluted, too, because there's all, like, the, like, weird reality warping and all kinds of stuff like that going on because of, time travel's bad. A lot of stuff yeah. they're trying to touch on, too, and everything. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. See, yeah. see, when you said uh, Trigger was very happy and upbeat, that kind of caught me off guard because Chrono Cross was really not. Yeah, it was, it was very dark and, you know, yeah. a lot of people getting hurt, lots of consequences, and, and a lot of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of twists but, and turns. Yeah, and th- that's kind of really why people didn't the dark side of time travel. And Chrono and Trigger like, deals with just the, the fall part of it the fun shonen adventure yeah that's exactly what it is okay. you know, dbz art and all what? <laughs> yeah like like one example is just the miguel i don't mm-hmm. know if you remember that uh in, a little in bit chrono yeah. cross where yeah. you had to go to um the uh the what was it the eternal sea or, or something like that yeah yeah and at the end of it, you face uh, a boss who is Miguel, who is your your dad's friend. And and actually, I can go back to um, the soundtrack thing again. Just the soundtrack that plays just makes you feel how heavy 
the the game is right there. And as a kid, you know, I didn't mm-hmm. really, I couldn't really understand story as well. But I, I knew that that point yeah. was like a really heavy, depressing scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, Chrono Cross is a, a real great game. And, you know, just like your game, uh, at the very end, when the credits came on, oh god, that that was some that was a good credit scene. <laughs> the song yeah, was just that's, that's, amazing. That's really how I felt after turning them. Like cause the credits, like went well with the story. I, I don't want to like spoil. Like once, but yeah. yeah, actually, this is like a little interesting. Some people have this theory. Chrono from Chrono Trigger. So, wait, you uh, cut off there. At, oh, uh, my some bad. Some people have this theory. <laughs> okay, so some people have this theory actually that Miguel from Chrono Cross is uh, Chrono from Chrono oh. Trigger. So, I, I I don't know about that, but I remember some people are sold on it. There's another theory that um, I think Guile, the magician dude, is uh, mm-hmm. someone else from. Either the Chrono Trigger or uh, the other uh, thing in the series. What what is it called? The Radical Dreamers. He's yeah, a character yeah. from one of those, and uh, uh, Glenn is yeah. Frog. Well, yeah, Glenn is a representation of Frog. Glenn's my yeah. favorite character in that. Mm-hmm. Like the yeah. dude just gets two legendary swords and just dual wields that, and that's just Hell that's yeah, just dude. real cool, dude. That's just fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Chrono Cross, um, definitely one of the most impactful games for me. Like even when I mm-hmm. uh, write music or play music, it even the soundtrack kind of like influences me there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to explain oh, it, but cool. like when I do that stuff, I, I think of Chrono Cross soundtrack because that mm-hmm. man, that soundtrack, that soundtrack is just something else. That, that's one of those ones I hear, and I still. You uh, cut off again. <laughs> oh, God damn it! But the, the Chrono Cross soundtrack is—it's one of those ones I hear. You know, I'm just, I'm feeling a feel once I hear it. Usually. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, um, segue on to the next uh, topic here. Just just a, a topical one. Uh, the new yeah. 2DS XL is out. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. Max, you do not you you don't know too much about it, right? Yeah, not really. Like I heard it was coming out and stuff, but like I, I haven't like read up on it or watched videos about it yet or anything. So I'm not too like okay. knowledgeable about what it's gonna be. I can uh, pull up this. Yeah, Nintendo put out a comparison chart, but essentially the new 2DS XL is basically um, the it has the same hardware from the new 3DS XL, meaning it's it's got a stronger uh, it's got stronger processing power and everything. Mm-hmm. But um, it doesn't have the 3D aspect to the uh, device. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. pretty much the only difference aside from the uh, $50 price drop. Uh-huh. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I, I feel like this is, uh, if they had released this at the same time, no one would have bought the 3DS XL. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're probably Like, it would have been this. Because this, the previous 2DS didn't have like a, a a foldable screen whereas this one does right yeah that's just a huge advantage over that yeah and the yeah. fact that it's fifty dollars less and you don't it doesn't have that 3ds gimmick or 3d gimmick that yeah no one uses really yeah let's be real do you ever turn on the 3d on your yeah except for like a minute yeah. but I, I will occasionally for like you know 30 seconds just out of curiosity yeah, just to see what it Be looks like. like. Hey, I wonder what this looks like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, if this they had released this at the same time as the 3DS, and I believe that they could have fully done that, they mm-hmm. they would have easily been able to implement that technology. Um, yeah, yeah. 3DS would not have sold as well, if not at all. Mm-hmm. Especially that fifty dollar price difference, and also. Um, reading this comparison chart, mm-hmm. the uh, 3DS XL, it doesn't come with a charger, whereas this does. 
Mm-hmm. That charger alone is like 20 bucks. So this uh, 3DS, 2DS XL mm-hmm. is is uh, a real good, uh, real good price point for for what it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly, for sure. Um, anything you want to say about it? You want me to actually? Or is that if you want to look at that eventually? Yeah, I'll that look later. But yeah, like I'll be honest, like I I probably would have bought like a XL instead of like a new 3DS. Like, did you ever uh, eventually buy the 3DS, the new 3DS XL, or did you just stick with your old one? Yeah, yeah, I have a 3DS XL that I bought. Okay. I think I bought that actually when I bought Monster Hunter. Because yeah, when when you finally convinced me to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You did buy it then. Because before that, I'd like been thinking about it, and then I'm just like, eh. who knows? But then I got Monster Hunter. The little yeah. extra nub for the camera and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Um. Actually, this, I don't Oh, if the 2DS... Oh, it does actually have a camera. I wasn't sure if it did, because the picture... It, mm-hmm. The camera's not on the top. It's actually on the um, the little uh, foldable piece, the the middle piece that you can to fold the screen Oh, over. yeah, in- interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting okay. spot to have it, but... Yeah. Aside from that, it's pretty much the same thing as a 3DS XL, or new <coughs> 3DS XL. Yeah. Same hardware, same power. 3D. Mm-hmm. If anything, the battery... Life is probably better because of it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I bet it is. That was the one thing that sucked, actually, when I upgraded to the new... My battery life was so small because on my uh, old 3DS, I actually had, like, an extra, like, battery pack type thing that I bought from, like... like, This is going to sound really stupid, but, like, I got it from, like, China or somewhere like that. (laughs) And, And it was promised to me to be this, like... He's maybe like 20 or 30 bucks. Just this battery pack for like just going on trips and stuff with your 3DS. And they're like, yeah, it'll extend your battery life four, five, or six, whatever they have to like, you know, no more like 12 to 20. Yeah. And I was really hesitant about getting it. And I, I whatever. I finally broke down. And it took my battery life up to like the full 20, just like consistently. Like, it was such a good purchase. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you who made it, like anything about it. I don't even know if I still have it. purchase history on Amazon, but it was like one of the best things I've ever bought. Like as a gaming accessory, like I didn't have to charge it every day. Or, you know, if you're playing like a big long and grossing game on your DS now, you yeah. gotta like go charge it after a couple hours. Never had to like worry about that. Um, it was so good, dude. Actually, I just want to say real quick, uh, thank yeah. you, Slow Now Turtle, for following. We uh, oh, nice. we got someone, dude. Yeah, we did <laughs> we, it. We hey, sucked thanks, them man. in. Thanks, dude. Yeah. You're gonna turn us famous. Our, no, thank you for coming out. Our first out, one, my I feel dude. Like, yeah. I mean, hey, I, I wasn't expecting anything. I was just gonna end up uploading oh, me neither. this to YouTube and then uh, sharing it oh, there. Okay. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming out, dude. Yeah. Thanks, man. But yeah, cool. for me, I. Battery life was never an issue. I um, uh-huh. I don't really play on the go. I don't. I when I do play yeah. it, I just play it like in bed or, or you know at home. Yeah, yeah. And so I can just leave it charged, and it's not uh-huh. really something yeah. to, something that I worry about. Uh-huh. But for someone who yeah, would yeah. probably go out a lot, and then uh, you know, someone like you, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's like, useful. Yeah, you know, I'll like you know fly on the airplane to go. Yeah, right. Because otherwise, you'd get you'd get to the airport, you'd play for a couple hours, it'd be time for your flight, and you'd fucking run out of battery, and you'd say, yeah. "God damn it!" <laughs> but no, once I got that, I was good. I I could play for like two days and not have to charge it. Like, pretty good. The only thing it was like it was kind of big though, so like it made your three DS a lot bigger. So like if that was a problem. That's that sucks, I guess. Like, yeah, but you know, it 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 sounds like it would reduce the portability of it, while at the same time <laughs> increasing the portability of it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Like it's just a trade off. Yeah, 
Like, do you want to? It's one of those things. You, you probably would have trouble fitting it like in your pocket anymore after that. But yeah. If you're traveling and you're just gonna like put it in a backpack or something anyway. Perfect. Yeah, treating it like, like a laptop or something. Yeah, pretty much, and that's what I did. Like, I would just keep it in my backpack after that, so no problem. It was cool. Yeah. And and you you could fit it in your your pocket. It was just like tough. <laughs> It would take like the whole pocket to, move, uh, to maneuver around with that. Thing yeah, in your pocket yeah, too. exactly. I would occasionally actually bring it to Walmart just to see street pass with. So I, I did fit it in my pocket. But, you, know, you know, that's one of the things I've never really done with my um, yeah 3ds is street pass because I don't take it out and about. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, I'd I'd never done it before, but just for some reason I was curious. And I just started taking it to Walmart. I just wanted to see like what kind of people I would tag, and if there'd be like, I, I kind of wanted to see, you know, if there'd be people I would like regularly take stuff. Like, yeah. Where other people bringing their 3ds's and like playing them on break and stuff. <laughs> and there was this one guy I tagged every single day I took it. Like I didn't take it every day, but every time I took 3ds, I would tag this guy named Jamie. I don't know who he was, and it wasn't it wasn't your Jamie, but. I, I don't know. Never <laughs> oh, found the guy. Oh yes, I remember we we're attempting to look on the um the Walmart scribe of names because they, they had a, uh-huh. yeah. a nice big yeah. uh what was it, like a poster thing that everyone signed. Mm-hmm. And so we looked yeah, so hard yeah. for his name and we just couldn't find it. And because of that we ended up finding <laughs> uh, what, what what was, was his, his name? name? I was I was thinking about this maybe like a week or two ago, and I cannot for the life of me remember what his name. I remember it was Dennis. Dennis. Yes, he wrote his name Dennis in Japanese, and it roughly translated to Denisu or something. Yeah, yeah. I I would always pronounce it as uh, Denise when I would read the Japanese. And so triggered. <laughs> and then... Uh, Sorry, I shouldn't that. say that. Maybe I shouldn't say that word, but he got so mad at me one time. He's like... Yes, there was that one night Dennis whenever... And I'm- <laughs> We were actually that was the first time uh, we noticed it. He was right there in the uh, or in the the hall. Yeah, you're we right. We were reading it, right. and you're like, Denisu. <laughs> he said some some chick, some weeb chick just just wrote Denisu in <laughs> Japanese oh, on our God. board. Yeah, I I just thought it was just you know some weeb girl like yeah that just I, got, I don't want to yeah. He was upset that. Uh, yeah, you called it Denise, <laughs> and he attempted to argue with you about Japanese, oh, which man. you took three years for, or three years of? Me? Two, three years of Japanese. Yeah, yeah, I did. Also, thank you for the host, <laughs> Turtle. Appreciate oh, yeah, thanks, it. thanks, man. But yeah. But yeah, so then after that, I would, if I ever saw him around, I would go up there and just start reading some of the names, <laughs> and then I would always happen to come, I would happen to eye his and be like, Denise. <laughs> Denise. Huh, who's Denise? And I'll tell you, like, he was right. Like, yeah, it said Dennis. But I don't know. I just I just wanted to fuck with him every time I saw it. Just and I, I know this is me, like maybe this is me bullying him a little bit, but like you're just some wee white guy neckbeard. Like, why would you sign your name in Japanese there? Like, <sighs> I don't know, Max. Maybe you should have done it. I mean, I could have, but like, who the fuck is Makusu? <laughs> like, it's <son>. Max. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I but should yeah, have that was... signed Hitsu on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that man. was that was a thing. Yeah, Dennis. I, I'm glad I remember though. I was thinking about that, <laughs> thinking about that for a couple weeks. Like, what was his name like? Yeah, that's it. Did you ever um, tag him whenever you brought your 3DS? I, I don't he, think so. I know he did bring his 3DS. Um, yeah, yeah. Our, 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 if, yeah, if I did, his, his uh, little me character had a different name than Dennis. Uh, Maybe he was the Jamie that I tagged all the time. <laughs> you know, thinking about Jamie it, that's, by day, there's a pretty good... Dennis by night. <laughs> yeah, there's a pretty good chance that was him. Like... <laughs> Because I, I can't think of too many other people there that I would have probably regularly tagged. Just that we're always bringing a 3DS in. Like, who would do that? All right. So, um, 
I think we're going to go on to some some questions to answer that I that I came up with. Turtle, if you're in here and you want to ask a, a question for us to answer, that'd be totally fine. Up to you. Yeah, ask no away pressure. if you want. Yeah, no pressure though. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but uh, first, first, and I know Amy's going to love this question because we were debating about it earlier uh, this okay. month. If you were in a situation where you had to eat a loved one in order to survive, would you be able to do it? Okay, well, so what did you say? What was your, uh, your output? No, 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 no. Don't try um, to bitch first. out on this. You first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, so basically, we're just in some kind of situation. Like, I maybe, like, travel. Yeah, like, uh, say the situation is, you, you know, you both fell into a hole, and they're mm-hmm. bleeding out, and well, we'll start with this. They're, you both fell into a hole, and you've got to eat her if you, or him, <clears throat> if you want to survive, mm-hmm. or it. Could be a dog. Yeah, I mean. Or cat. Be, yeah, exactly. Okay, so the first question is, because the answer is definitely no. Do I have to eat them? All right, so. Yeah, I, I guess the answer is definitely no. Raw, like, no, I, I can't do it. I can't do it if it's raw. Well, like, well not ball. raw. Let's let's say you, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Here is what you have. You, you can make a fire. You got a tourniquet, okay. so you can you know properly cut them wherever, mm-hmm. however, and um, if anything, maybe even keep them safe. Doing that, uh-huh. you have the knowledge of a doctor, so you okay. can. So, so I do have the knowledge to do this. Yes, yes, you have the knowledge. Okay, because that, that, that was going to be that was going to be my next thing. Is like, yes, I probably would, but I don't. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and step that up a notch. So let's say they're, <laughs> and this might even make it easier for you, but let's say <laughs> okay. they, you know, you both fell into a hole, and the other person is bleeding out. They're gonna die anyways. Would you eat them? Would you would you be able to kill them and eat them? <clears throat> okay. If you had to do so, it to survive. It's just an interesting one little. So this actually happens. Character in Terra Enigma. This, in in Terra Enigma. Yeah, this actually happens at one point. It's it's a couple of animals, but. Oh okay. Like, did you want to go ahead? <laughs> okay, so. So the loved one could be a pet or a person, right? Uh yes. Okay. Yes. So so if it's a pet, I think I could do it if it was a pet. Yeah. It like eating be, an animal. It would be yeah. I think if it were an animal, it'd be a little easier because you can't really. They're not a human. You yeah. Know? And like I'm I'm like a big like animal person. Like you know I'm like really close with like animals and stuff around me. Like you know cats and dogs, but. Even still, I, I think I, I think I would try to not do it. When, once I got hungry enough, okay, I'd cook the cat. You know, like <laughs> right. I think it's much more complicated when it's a human. Like, <sighs> what if what if it was uh, your mom? My mom. Oh man. Um. <laughs> oh man. Let me, let me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I think I would probably do it in the end, but would it be pretty easy for you or would you like be like uh I don't really want to do this. But they're in pain and they're suffering and you got to kill them and you're going to die if you don't eat. Them. Okay. I th- I think I would try to not do it. You try to not do it even if they're, you know, bleeding out. Oh, if they're dying, like I mean I could Oh, okay. What if there was finish them off? Like I could finish them off out of mercy, sure. But then I think I would wait a little bit before I ate them because you know I really want to. <laughs> you would wait a bit, huh? Yeah, I mean, not like it long enough for it to go but the, for them to go bad. Like, <laughs> okay. I think I'd really I'd spend a few hours, you know, like really thinking about it. But then I'd I'd probably get hungry enough eventually. Like I I guess I would probably do it. Like. That's tough, though. Like, who knows? Like, maybe if it actually happened, maybe I'd just be like a little bitch and be like, no, I can't need a person. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, so in a I, I want to say I would. Yeah, I want to say I would do it in that kind of a situation. Okay. When you get hungry enough, you'll eat. Like, that only waits like a day. <laughs> yeah, for me, it would be a pretty easy choice. Like, if Amy fell into a hole and she was bleeding out, I'd. Mm-hmm. I would have no regrets eating her to survive. 
Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I, it would suck, you know. I'd be like, oh god damn, I really wish I didn't have to do this. But I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna do this though. Yeah. Okay. Now let's let's uh, let's add some twisty turns to that <laughs> question. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's say, okay, uh, give us give me an example of a loved one. <laughs> Uh, a, loved, a loved one that I have? Yeah, like your mom, someone near and dear to you, I guess. Would your... <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. you could do me. You could do it's me. Too. Okay. <laughs> oh, I want to do you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do him. Yeah, come on. Come <laughs> s- All right, so. Let's fucking do it. Let's say we both fell into a hole together. We, we survived, yeah. right? But we got no food. Okay. We're not getting out of that hole. We got a tourniquet. Mm-hmm. We can cut limbs. We can cut body parts. We can cut pieces of uh-huh. us off. And, uh, you know save ourselves we could um yeah i don't know put put our cut pieces to a flame to close that wound whatever yeah, right yeah 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 so let's say we we had no food but we're getting hungry what what do you cut off cuts off bits and chunks of like your thigh or would you rather just do one clean swipe of like your arm and ah like, okay Cut a limb off. Yeah, yeah. Cutting chunks out of your face. Honestly, from what I've read about, like, people being skinned alive and stuff like that, I've read about stuff. But from what I've read about stuff like that, I, I really think you'd want a big piece out. Like, just take a limb just all at once. Like, yes. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, you're on my team. Thank you. Like, I, I, I've read stories about people being, like, sounds horrifying like yeah it's more stress on your body to continue to take chunks out uh, that's true too yeah like like the one clean swipe you just got that one wound if, if to you just about. yeah yeah if you just cut once and the arm's gone like it'll it'll probably hurt more sure but like it'll just be the hurt that one time and then after you're good you can close the wound you're good like okay okay until but the next time winter, need winter, food i guess dinner. okay but think about this <laughs> okay <laughs> we talk so like Okay, I'm on the boat where I would cut off mm-hmm. pieces of my body, like parts of my thigh, because, mm-hmm. okay, first of all, it's it's like two clean cuts is all you need, you know? One in and then one to cut that piece out, right? Yeah. And then if, continuously doing it. Hold on, let me talk. Okay. <laughs> I, I can cauterize that wound. Yeah, yeah. Keep it safe right there, right then and there. Mm-hmm. Next. I, I have that small piece of meat to eat, right? Yeah. I, I, I will can... say your way's your way's better if like something just shows up to because you've you've like given up much. Yeah, see? That's that's the whole thing behind this is cutting a limb is too much. It's yeah, like I my think it's like my too my far. arms Yeah, like my arm's done. Like if somebody shows up in like six hours after I cut that arm off. I'm going to feel like a fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> yeah. See, that's why that's, it, that's why I don't think that's a good method. I think uh-huh. but we're what, talking yeah. about when you need to eat. Oh, I'm in this hole for like one hour. Let me just start cutting off limbs. <laughs> I mean, no, but listen, once once you start getting to that point where you're really hungry, if you just cut off like a, you know, a, a hamburger size. Yeah, but. Just the hamburger size bunch of meat off your thigh and just cook yeah. that. Eat that for dinner. You can do the same thing tomorrow and, and you know, continue to, to have that sustenance. If you cut off mm-hmm. your whole arm, you're going to have to eat that right then and there. Or yeah. it's, it's not going to last long. Yeah, it could last for maybe like, like a, a you could You could stretch it and make it last maybe a week. Yeah, maybe. but it would have gone bad like halfway through. Yeah. My thing is bad meat. <laughs> my thing is if me and Matt are both trapped in a hole and we're stuck in there for however long, we cut a limb off and that lasts us a long time for both of us. He cuts a limb off and that lasts us a long time for both of us. Hmm. I. But he wouldn't sacrifice his arm so we wouldn't starve. <laughs> I just don't think that's the necessary approach to this okay. situation. Yeah. Yeah. Is because the reason I'm surviving is because I want to come out of this alive. And I want to come out of this alive with 
as much of my body as intact yeah, as yeah. possible. I, I don't uh-huh. want to live with one arm or one leg for the rest of my life, you know? I want to come fair. out of this with as much meat on my body as possible. Yeah. I, I will say for what it's worth, like I'd probably get like you know, go to cut off my arm and then I'd just like pussy out and say, All right, I guess I'll stop. <laughs> you'll cut, I, I don't think I want you'll to. cut like halfway through and be like, Oh fuck, this hurts so much and so I just cut out the rest <laughs> no, or no, just a little I, I bit of that, that just to like it, if I did cut, I know I could really strongly and just forcefully like whoosh through the whole arm, but like I don't know if I'd get that far. <laughs> I think I'd start to swing once and then be like huh. <laughs> I don't want to lose my arm like See, yeah, that's something I same with me. I if I had to think about cutting an entire limb off, I'd be like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to do it. So I just wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you yeah. never know though. Who knows? If you get so, really hungry, maybe say so what, fuck it, let's go. So let's let's hear. What do you lean towards then? After all this talk about it, what do you lean towards? <laughs> After hearing my side of things as well. <laughs> I see how this is. All right. So like one more question. Like how long have I been here? Like how desperate am I for food? Um, so? You're at the point where you need food. Okay. And, and am I, am I alone or is it like me um, and someone else? Sure. You're alone. It, it, oh. it works okay. just the same if they're alone. So see, I think if I was with someone else, like I'd be, pretty willing to be like all right we'll cut my arm and eat this first like i, <laughs> would, you, I will would you be like all right let's you. cut your arm off and we'll eat that and then just bitch out whenever it comes to your turn <laughs> <laughs> no no no. I, I would do my turn first like oh, okay like I, I will do this for you i we will cut it's it would piss out when it was his turn no if it's <laughs> if amy is in there with me then i'm not gonna let her uh cut her I arm or cut leg my, off i would make you cut my arm off and then we would have food for like a while mm-hmm yeah, but, but the whole part with cutting off chunks, like you can like <laughs> accidentally cut too deep. Artery fucked. Mm-hmm. Cutting off an arm, arm is too deep. Yeah, but with the arm, you get like there and then you get it off and you have a tourniquet. You cut an artery mm. and you still. Okay, so. If I was to choose cutting chunks out and we were both trapped, I would make, like, I would start cutting chunks out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> out of what you cut out? My butt. Oh, that's what I was thinking that yeah, I would do, too. Yeah, that's where my I butt and thigh too. area. That's where okay. you would start. You don't have a butt. Yeah, yeah. Not existent. You'd have to go to thighs. <laughs> well. So so I need, a, I need a loved one with a big ass. <laughs> <laughs> You can survive off my butt. Mm-hmm, baby, week. you're, you're going to feed us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's. What is, so, what is your official stance? All right. Official stance. And I'm, I'm alone for the, for the sake of the question. Yeah, for the sake um, of the question. Being alone. Oh, man. I will say, I think first thing would be like. Maybe cut like a little chunk out of my ass first. All right, so do that first. <laughs> eat, eat those, eat those, and then if I, then if I run out of those, I'd probably just cut a whole arm and just be done with it. Like, okay, assless and armless. Because thinking about it, yeah, that'd be it. I'd maybe I'd just kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, maybe it wouldn't be worth it anymore after that. But <laughs> understandable. Yeah, I think, I think I would try to just like cut out the butt and be good with that. But like, if I had to go to the arm, I'd do it. Like, okay, cut the whole. Or I don't know. Maybe you could cut like cut at the elbow. Maybe like cut part of the arm before you cut the whole thing. Like, so you're like a, a mix between. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of a mix, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well. I think it kind of depends on like where, like, if you're cutting an arm, like, unless you're some like huge, be- like, you can't cut out a little piece really. Like, I, I would need like the whole arm to feed me or like half the arm. Okay. 
Well, uh, let's thank our our guest Amy for joining us yeah. there for a bit. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Amy. You're Says you're welcome. Yeah, cool. Let's uh, go ahead and move on to the next question. Would you take one billion dollars at the cost of constant farts <laughs> that cannot be fixed through any means? And these are constant, like, like every couple of seconds you're just farting. You can't control it. Okay. It's just going to come out. Two questions. First question, are they loud farts? They're audible farts. People around you will know okay. that you are farting. Second question, are they disgusting farts? Um, yeah, they're, they're farts. They're farts. Okay, but they're not just like rank dis- <laughs> No, they're not like <laughs> n- near shart levels of fart. It's just they're not they're not like the farts that come out of Yeah, no. Clear clear the room interior. Okay. Um They're farts that are audible. You'll have to basically be dealing with the social aspect of continuously farting. Okay. Nothing could fix it. Hmm. This would go on for the rest of your life. <laughs> so if I bought this I would have to become a shut in a thought basically. <laughs> Like, uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know if I'd do it to be honest. Like, you don't know? Ah, uh, man. Like, that's, that's, that's a lot of money. Like, you'd be set for your whole life easily. Like, you could have anything you wanted with you no could. effort. Like, you wouldn't even have to make like an effort to like you know, invest the money or whatever to like keep it going. Like, with that much money, you could just live your life with it. Like, yeah. Do whatever you want and die. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is a lot of the stuff I want to do would be like, you know, hanging out with friends, traveling and all this <laughs> stuff. And a lot of that, you just can't do any of that if you're just shitting yourself, <laughs> the, you know, you're shitting yourself the whole time. Like, yeah. you know, I can't like, I can't find like a QTGF to like go have a nice meal with me as we're sitting there at, like a nice fancy restaurant farting the whole time like that's never gonna happen right so uh you, you would say no to that billion dollars i i would think really hard whether or not i thought i could be happy living in my house with that money you know for the rest of my house yeah my life just living in a house like playing game playing whatever games i want reading whatever books i wanted having one for food I wanted like brought to my house or whatever like it would be really tempting but I think at the end I'd say no it's probably not worth it like unless I don't know with that much money though like maybe I could just make people not care like hey I'll take you to have a nice meal with me if you just talk with me a while and don't constant fart (laughs) like maybe people wouldn't care if you're that rich like yeah, I think as long as you explain the situation, you know, that you got $1 billion, but in exchange, you're just going to constantly fart every couple of seconds. And do you think they'd believe you, though? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I don't know. I'd probably tell you you're full of, <laughs> you're full of shit, so to speak, if you told me that. like, <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I would do it, though. Like, maybe I would just say, you know what? I'll just pay off whoever I need to. It'll be okay. Honestly, when when I was younger, I would fart so much because uh, I was um, lactose intolerant. I still am. Yeah. I, I didn't really know that, so I would just drink regular milk, and I'd just be farting all the time. So <laughs> I'm used to it. Ah, okay. Of course. So I, yeah, now, one thing I didn't consider that I just considered is mm-hmm. whether or not we'll be able to hold it or, or if it's just going to come out no matter what. Mm-hmm. I think I think we're gonna have to lean with it's gonna come out no matter what, and you're not That's gonna what be I able was to hold thinking. it. Yeah. Because when I was young, I could hold that shit forever. Yeah. The only yeah. thing is, when it came out, it would not. It would be terrible. Yeah. Like terrible sound or terrible smell. Just both. Oh god. It would feel terrible. It would smell terrible. Man. But for one billion dollars. <laughs> I think I, I think I've talked myself into it actually. Yeah. 
like having thought about it some more, like how I could probably, you know, I, I'd probably do it. Like, I think so long as you explain the situation to people. Yeah, yeah. It, and it's... like thinking about it and stuff, like, let's be real. I'm probably never going to like have a, have like a nice GF and be <laughs> That's that's not a lot. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. So there's there's no worries there on that front. So I I think I should do it if I get the chance. I think most of my interaction is online anyways. So, mm. you know, they're not going to hear me farting through the mic most of the time. <laughs> so, you know, I I should be pretty good. 1 billion dollars. The only issue might be car rides because with that much gas that you're expelling, it's it's just gonna fill up. If it's a cold day, you're not gonna want to put the windows down. But with me in it, you <laughs> might. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I hadn't thought about car rides. Yeah, or plane rides. Oh man, <laughs> with the amount of that's fart actually... that I give off, you might be able to fucking make the plane float off of it. See, plane rides are the one thing I was thinking. Making me think maybe I shouldn't take it is like, dude, I feel like I could never ride. You just have to go to after that. every, you know what? You don't have to ride publicly. You got a million or a billion dollars. You could. Shit, that, that is true. Yeah. Have your own private jet. Yeah, you're right. I think if you played your money smart, invested it properly, where you can just mm -hmm. always have a constant stream of money coming at you with that $1 billion. Yeah. Then yeah, you could afford the cost of owning, you know, your own private jet. You don't have to mm -hmm. worry about that. You could, and then you could drive wherever you need to with whatever car you got, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think all these situations would be mitigated or, or minimized. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. I think we were, like weren't thinking. Yeah, I like. I was just thinking about the farts, not the money. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. Cause, yeah, because really now, now that we're really. I feel like you could get around any of these problems with the money. Like, oh, you don't want to go out to the store anymore and buy food because people hear your fucking pay that's someone fine. to Just do that. Shit pay for somebody you. to bring food to your house. Yeah, like, like that's a double plus. You don't have to go to Walmart. Yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, that'd have to be right. for me. We because Let's do it. Where do I become the fart man? <laughs> Where do I sign up for this? Yeah. It's just constantly dealing with farts is going to be your only issue. And if you can get over that, then. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Great. And, and even think about this. Like, even if you want to travel and just go to a private beach. Yeah. It's fine. Or, or just or just don't just go to your private. own island. Like, don't yeah. go to a private beach. Just go to a public one and just don't give a shit. No, you're no, not no, there to dude, please I have, people. I have, a, I have a better idea even. So you're going to go to like a, a private beach or, some, or you're going to just go to a regular beach. And just, actually, in general, you're just going to live your life as normal. You're going to hire a guy who's going to be your farting boy. Okay. All right. He's, he's going to be this guy and, and probably somebody you get along with because he's going to be doing all this stuff with you, like going to the beach with you and all this stuff. Yeah. So it needs to be some guy that's like pretty cool that likes the same kind of stuff you do. He's right. just going to take the blame for all your farts. This is what he's paid for. Oh. He just comes with you. And you just tell everyone, <laughs> I'm sorry for my friend. He has some kind of chronic farting disease. Literally all of his farts. And you pay him for this. This is what he does. Like, <laughs> so, like, not only do you pay, like, to bring him on all these trips with you, then, like, you know, you, you pay him, like, a, a salary of some kind as well. And that's it's, just his job. He just comes out with you when you go outside the house. This better he be apologizes one stand -up for guy. his terrible <laughs> and he apologizes for his terrible gas, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think I, I could pay someone like a million dollars a year to, to yeah, do that for me. You've got the money. <laughs> they better not fucking you've ask for money. like half though. Yeah. But yeah. Oh no. He doesn't have to know how much money you have. <laughs> Go on that's, your way. That's that's a that's a good one, actually. That's a good idea. Yeah, I, I I finally realized that I'm like, of course I would take that. I know what I'll do. Farting <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's genius. All right. So um, I guess since we're done with that question, let's go on to the, the yeah. final one. Yeah. Which is a more more of a serious one. Just a, a nice little one to go off of. To end off of. Yeah, yeah. 
What is your favorite alcoholic drink? All right. My favorite alcoholic drink. So I, I have a few. Actually. A few? Okay. Yeah, I have like a few, like, you know, like favorites, stuff I like to get. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like I'm I'm not a big beer person. Like if I go to your house and you But that's not the kind of thing I'm probably gonna get like, you know, when I'm out at a bar or anything like that. Like yeah, okay. I, I can drink one, but it's not not my thing usually. Because for okay. me, if I'm gonna drink, I wanna fucking drink. Like I wanna get strong <laughs> shit. Okay. I'm I'm gonna like I'm gonna go into the bar and I'm gonna get like a bourbon or something. And just, just, you know, like a bourbon on the rock. All right. And I'm just going to get that alone. And because I'm a lonely fucking loser piece of shit without <laughs> friends, probably just going to sit in the bar myself. This might sound oddly specific. Don't <laughs> think about it too hard. I've, I've, I've never done this before. So, I mean, don't, don't ask. So, just, you know, <laughs> let's just leave that alone. But th- this is a hypothetical scenario of how it would go. You know, I'd get my bourbon and I'd go sit in the corner and just sip it and look. I feel like you kind of look cool when you're just sitting there alone, <laughs> just sipping bourbon. Like, yeah, I feel like yeah. I look like a, you know, like a like a detective from a movie or something. Yeah, that's what I feel like whenever I do that. But you had a you had a hard day detecting yeah. things, and you got screamed <laughs> at by a murderer or something. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I need to <laughs> relax with this bourbon in this nice, chill bar. Yeah, and it, it feels kind of I feel kind of classy too when I drink. Like not super classy, but yeah. like a little classy. Yeah, of course, of course. Like I don't, I feel classy, but not like not like fancy kind of classy. Especially if you got all these college kids just coming in, rummaging the place around, drinking their oh, blue moon. Fucking You're like, hate that. You children, I've got my bourbon. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I know, children disgust me. Uh, <laughs> sir, are you actually old enough to be drinking here? Here's my ID. <laughs> I, I get carded everywhere I go. Like, you know, obviously. I, I mean, you got that baby face. Of course you yeah, would. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> but one, one of my other favorite drinks, and here, here's the weeb, the weeb coming <laughs> out. But, dude, I, I really like me some sake. Not going to lie. It's good shit. I know you do. Like, we, whenever we went on dicks in that one night, you, you were looking for a place with that yeah yeah i never found one but yeah they're all closed yeah yeah it's too late but that's okay because i don't know there's something for me like when i when i drink sake i feel like like really calm when i'm drinking sake like you just you have your little you know like you have like a little pitcher thing with it and then you pour it into like a cup and drink it yeah I don't, I don't know if you've seen how they do it, but like, I, I feel just like, like really relaxed and calm when I do that. Like, like just nice and chill. Like, okay. Yeah. No, I, I understand how that could, yeah, it's, that it's, could work. It's, it's comfortable. And yeah. I, I always had, I always had like sake at my dad's. Uh, During my, my big, uh, the big fiasco of my trip, you know, last right. year, we won't get into that on stream, but uh, <laughs> I, I remember like maybe the night after I got back, just like sitting in my room and I, I drank like two whole bottles of sake or something, just sitting there sipping them, <laughs> watching, watching anime, trying not to like want to die too bad. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there drinking my sake like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I, I wasn't cry, crying or anything comforting thing, sake just, you know absolutely yeah just absolutely miserable <laughs> drinking your sake try not to be too miserable <laughs> and that's okay that's exactly what alcohol is for yeah exactly <laughs> you know i'm just I'm just doing what it's giving it its purpose you know that's what <laughs> it's supposed to do it's fine <laughs> i felt really <laughs> pathetic the day after holy shit i'm pitiful <laughs> Oh, I, I had my little, uh, like, my little cute pork buns that I bought from the Asian supermarket uh, by my house. And I was, like, <laughs> like eating those while I drank my sake. Like, <laughs> Bro, you should have had <laughs> weed. So weed wouldn't have done none of that to you. <laughs> Fucking don't, don't even get me started on that, Tan. Weed would have cured your depression, man. Would have cured your depression and your cancer. <laughs> oh, you should have. This is why, uh 
that that's like <laughs> everywhere here here in Seattle. Have everyone. <laughs> oh. Okay, so so I, I probably have like one more third favorite. Okay, go alcohol. for it. So let's see. See, bourbon is number one. Sake is number two, and this one's like, you know, I probably sound pretty manly. You know, I can bourbon and sake, right? Yeah. Like relatively manly. So let's fucking totally destroy. Number three is like colorful, fruity, girly drinks, ah. like like girly cocktails and stuff. Good shit. <laughs> I could probably drink myself to death, just like drink colorful cocktails and stuff. Okay. I don't know. There's something just like, it's just like fun and appealing when you get your drink. And, and it's just this big old fucking glass of pink shit with like umbrellas and, yeah. and, and fruits and everything in it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I usually don't <laughs> like the umbrellas and stuff like that. But if I get just like a nice big blue drink. With some like fruit and stuff, like that's pretty good. Like, and, and for what it's worth, this isn't like I don't like this nearly as much as bourbon or sake, but this is like a third alternative if I can't get the other two. Okay. Or if I feel like bourbon's just going to kill me that day <laughs> for something a little weaker. No, that's that's good. That's um, you've got your your alcohol uh, variety there. Yeah, um, yeah, and, and for what it's worth. And I'm, I've never gotten to use this, but I, I'm told, like, it's pretty cool if you're, like, on a date with some QT girl and you can just, like, sit down and just, like, order some kind of, like, fruity <laughs> cocktail that she likes, too. And you'll, like, look really cool and you'll hit it off. And that's what I'm told, but I, I don't know about that. I've been told that, though. <laughs> that's what the television told me. At least. <laughs> just be like, oh, yeah, we'll take two of your uh, banana frangé martinis. Yeah, and she'll probably the kind of girl I I would she'll be dating just, probably like slap me in the face and be like, "Give me a fucking bourbon, you little pussy! Like, what are you doing? I don't want this shit." Oh, oh. and that's how you know it's the right one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just gotta test them, you know, the alcohol <laughs> test. Uh, yeah, m- me, I um, like I, it's I'm very basic. <laughs> Uh, in Basic high school, bitch. yeah, that's me. I just drink fucking high school beers like Bud Light and 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 shit. And then um, I stopped drinking and 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 doing all the uh, ingesting all the badness for a while. <laughs> once I went to college, um, once I started working again, actually, uh, once I was able to buy beer, I, I started trying to find a, a thing that I like, and mm. I, I still have a very very basic. Um, basic variety all i really like is a uh, fat tire and mm-hmm. uh okay before that it was blue moon just because that's what everyone always had and it wasn't bud light <laughs> yeah. so i would just drink blue, blue moon all right yeah it's it's yeah. it's a thing that's okay to get if it's there and yeah yeah if, if i like go to a bar and i like don't know what they have and i, I kind of want something that's not sometimes i'll get a blue moon like, yeah, yeah, that's what a, it's a for. A lot of places have it too, so like it's a really safe order. Like they'll probably have it. If- yeah, yeah. But uh, you don't have to feel like an idiot when they're like that. You want <laughs> fair, and you're like, uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> can skip that. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, just fat tire for me. Um, I've never really had martinis or all that, or all yeah. that heavier stuff like whiskey or, or bourbon or anything. Just. I usually yeah. just get a twelve pack of fat tire, drink that, play games. Yeah. Nothing, nothing Sounds too big good, for me. Though. Yeah. Yeah, not bad uh, though. But I think uh, I think that will do it for us tonight. Yeah. On our yeah. very first uh, episode of the Cato Cast. Yeah, it was pretty good. I think it it went well. You know, we didn't spill our spaghetti. Yeah. We, we I, I really thought fun. we would, so I'm I'm pretty <laughs> impressed we didn't. Honestly, I kind of no, expected it. No, it uh, went well. Um, we had one person who joined in and and chatted with us, saying uh, <laughs> <laughs> saying um, giving us that Russian sickle hammer sign. Oh, nice! <laughs> and the host. Right. Yeah, him, yeah, so. I'll take. Thank you, slows now turtle. Thanks for tuning in for for the whatever bit you did. Yeah, but, thank you, turtle. We appreciate it. Yeah, we really do. Um, we don't know when we'll be back. 
Uh, it was it was it was rough getting a start on this. Maybe it'll be <laughs> yeah, easier. Yeah. <laughs> It might be easier now that we've actually done it and have some sort of idea of, of how to go yeah, about yeah. things. We, we kind of get the flow now, so I think we can yeah. have an easier time next time, hopefully. Um, I mean, it'd be great for us to aim for next weekend. I don't know, though. I'll. Yeah, I'll, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. But thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for listening. If any of you uh, end up tuning into this, listening to this. And, yeah, thanks, uh, guys. Yeah. It, it's been a, been a good night. Um, thank you, Max, for, for doing this with me. Thanks for having me on the show, pal. <laughs> nope, no no worries there, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, thank you, guys, and we will have, we will we will be seeing you off now. Uh, any last words, guys. Max? No, I, I don't think I have anything. Take no? care, everyone. Yeah, have all a right. Good one. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in to the Kato Cast episode one. We will see you guys next time. Goodbye.